So what to make to the sawmill, friends? It is 37 in Tennessee today. Yesterday it was 75. Crazy weather we're having this year. And I'm suffering from some kind of chest cold, so look over my voice today. Got a lot going on. The first thing we need to do is go grab the four-wheeler and get it ready to take it across town. You guys hang in there. I have not started up this four-wheeler in about four months. Hopefully the battery's not dead. If it is dead, it serves me right. I should have planned better, but maybe I'll get lucky. Hello ladies, how y'all doing today? Might as well check on the chickens here real fast. Hello girls. I really hope this thing starts up, but I have my doubts. Yeah, the gauge has come on. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, it's trying to. Yeah. There we go. May need a new battery this year. It's never had one. I bought this back in 2000 and I think 2011. It's only got 145 miles on it. Barely used. It's got the original battery on it. It's been a good machine though. take a sprayer off the back of it. We'll put it in the back of the tracker. So the main use for this four wheeler is to pretty much transport this sprayer and do the driveway, the fence lines, anywhere that needs sprayed for weeds. And there's a lot of areas around here that need sprayed every year. And I know the tracker could do that as well, but I've had this four wheeler for so long, I just can't bring myself to get rid of it. Kind of like having those tools that you know you never use, hardly ever, but when you need them, man, you need them. And that's why I rarely sell anything. That's one of the reasons why. I used to drag this foiler all the time and take the log arch out and get logs out of people's property whenever I'd get trees from uh, homeowners and stuff. And if I could ever talk my neighbor back in here behind me, behind the sawmill to sell me that 35 acres, 20 of it is a mountain full of woods. If I can ever talk them into selling me that, this four-wheeler would be pretty handy to get those logs out because there's some pretty steep terrain over there. So that's the main reason I'm keeping it, I guess. Hopefully one day they'll sell me that land and I can get back there with this four-wheeler and start uh, pulling out some logs. There's a bunch of dead ash trees back there that need to come down. Those are dangerous. Hopefully, it'll start back up now. I should have left it running. That would have been a lot smarter, I guess.
I've not had this trailer on the road in a long time. Need to check this pressure. Make sure they don't need any air. I bet they do. Oh yeah. These are supposed to be at cold, which they're cold right now, 50 PSI. 10. Huh. Good thing I checked them. Might as well go ahead and shoot some grease in this bearing also. I'm missing the cover on this one to order one of those. I'm not sure what happened to it. Must have fell off. Better switch this over to the two inch ball. Probably lower it as well. Now this is a bulletproof hitch, that's who makes it, and they sell a grease to put on it. I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff I use, just colored black. But it don't take much, just a little bit on there. I need to sand that rust off, and do a better treatment right there. Add that to my list of things to do around here. Now, whenever I transport this thing, I secure it to the trailer with the winch. And that's all I use. And I don't think it hurts anything. I rarely use this winch and I've never had a failure pulling it down the road. I'm sure somebody out there will uh, tell me I'm doing it wrong, but it always works for me doing it like that. If you guys out there that transport four wheelers, you ever use your winch like this? I'd be curious to know because I never seen anybody else doing it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. That'd be a first time, wouldn't it? Now I've said all that and bragged about the way I transport this thing. I'll get halfway down the road and something will happen. It'll flip off or something. That's the way it usually goes for me. So uh, let's call Mike and see if he's home. If he is, we'll take this over there and drop it off. We'll grab some lunch. I think I'll get some seafood today. The wife's going with me and hopefully she wants some seafood. They got a place called a Fisherman's Dock up there close to where he lives. Really good uh, popcorn shrimp, good stuff. So hopefully we'll get some seafood, we'll drop this off. And when we get back here, I got to saw up some cedar. Dad needs six more two by eights. He's gonna build another raised bed, so I need to mill up probably one more log. And I may have to hook the dump trailer up to the truck and go across town to pick up some more cedar as well. If they're ready today, I have to call about that also.
right, guys? Got the four-wheeler dropped off. I got to eat seafood for lunch. I had popcorn shrimp, a baked potato, and some hush puppies and coleslaw, and man, it was delicious. If you live in Northeast Tennessee, there's a place called the Fisherman's Dock, and it's up in the Colonial Heights area, and that is a really good place to eat, guys. Hardly anybody goes there. It's really good food. I got a cedar ready to go in the sawmill. It's not as big as I was hoping it would be, I needed 12 inches on the small end for two by eights for dad. This one right here is about 10 inches. So we'll just do some two by sixes. I think he'll be okay with that. If he's not, I'll cut him some more. But he needs six of these. We should get at least six out of this. If I'm one short, I'll grab one of my two by eights and edge it down to six inches. But we should be okay on that. And it's about 3.30. I just talked to my buddy who's got the cedar logs and he'll be home about six o'clock. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll saw up this cedar put it in the dump trailer, take the slabs down to the burn pile, drive across town to the next county over and pick up that cedar and hopefully get back here before it's dark. Hopefully, the time changes this weekend. I'm pretty happy about that. No more trying to chase the daylight anymore. You naturally have a few hours of extra work time every evening. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. This cedar won't take but a few minutes. On the sawmill, Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. If you want those blades, friends, you know what to do. Give Joe a phone call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. Joe Main is also selling sharpening equipment now. And on tomorrow's video, I'm going to be sharpening some blades. And I'll show you guys what he's selling now. It's the same sharpener that I have. I bought mine about four or five years ago. Good stuff. So let's get going here and knock this one out so we can get the trailer loaded up get everything done up here. We've got a lot left to do actually, and I just got an hour and a half. I need to shut up and start sawing. Don't go anywhere guys. This cedar should be pretty nice. And two more things here. I always forget to mention this. Thanks to everybody on Patreon for supporting me here in the channel. I really appreciate it. And guys, I am selling the short sleeve t-shirts now over on our Farm Focus site with the OTW beard logo on the pocket, as well as the back of the shirt. It's got a pocket on the front. It's a really nice shirt. I appreciate it if you had time and the extra money, go buy one of those that helps support us here on the channel and helps keep these cameras rolling. I just bought a new camera last month, $2,000 for one of these cameras in here. Man, they get expensive. I go through about one or two a year because of all the sawdust that gets in them and they just die on me. There's no way of cleaning them. I shipped them off one time to Canon actually to have it cleaned and they emailed me back and said, what well, do you want to trade it in on? because we can't do nothing with this besides just use it for parts for other things. That's how nasty that gets up here at the sawmill. These cameras do not do very well. So check those links out guys, Patreon below and my t-shirts. And the reason I'm promoting my shirts is because if I don't promote them, nobody else will. So help me out guys if you have time and extra funds. I really appreciate it.
right, friends, that went pretty good, actually, better than I expected. We've got six boards out of it, and they're eight inches wide. There's a little bit of weighing on this, but not too bad. I mean, it's raised bed garden box, so it don't have to be perfect. But I'm really surprised I was able to get two by eights on this. When I measured that small end, I didn't think I would do that, but I was able to get it. I'll take it. Now we'll jump with the tractor, take our slabs down to the burn pile. Hopefully tomorrow we'll burn that and get rid of it if there's no wind advisories. We'll get these loaded up, hook up the dump trailer, and head to Hawkins County and get some more cedar. You guys hang in there. We're not done yet. Thank you. 